Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining this month Connect with Control M session. My name is Erwin Sanchez, and I am a technical support analyst for the Control M team at BMC. Today, we will be talking about managing centralized connection profiles with Control M Automation API. Our panelists for today are Octavio Vasquez and Cody Belcher. We recommend going to full screen mode during this presentation by pressing the full screen button. Please note that this presentation is available via the file spot and at the bottom of your screen. For any questions you may have uh, during the presentation, please post them in the Q&A pod and we will be addressing them uh, at the end of the session. Now let's take a look at our, our agenda for today. We'll start with an overview of the Control M Automation API centralized connection profiles, prerequisites, and a briefly uh, go over its architecture. In the demo, we will show you the different options available to manage centralized connection profile through the API. Then we will go over a summary of what we discussed. We'll list some resources, including additional knowledge articles, and we'll finish with a live Q&A session. We are all familiar with local connection profiles. You can define them using the Control M Configuration Manager, and they are stored locally on the Control M agent it was created. Centralized connection profiles were introduced on Control M 920. They provide the ability to define connection profiles once on a central location in the Control M Enterprise Manager and use it across all available agents. The connection profiles are stored on the Control M Enterprise Manager database and are synchronized with the Control M server that are connected to that Control M Enterprise Manager. Centralized connection profiles are unique by name and by application type. Prerequisites to manage them using Control M Automation API, you will need Control M 920 or later, including the Enterprise Manager, Control M Server, Control M Agent, and also Control M Automation API 920 or later. Centralized connection profiles support managed file transfer, application integrator, Control M for databases, Control M for Informatica, Control M for AWS, and Control M for Azure. Here we have the architecture for Control M Automation API 920. The API is part of the Control M Enterprise Manager server. Any client, CLI or RACE API, will connect to the Tomcat on the default port 8443, and depending on the type of request, it will be redirected to the API server on internal port 48080 by default, or the config API server on the internal port 48081 by default. For example, the sessions, build, deploy, and run requests are redirected to the API server. And starting on bin 20, config requests are redirected to the config API server. The API server then will communicate with the GSR and the CMS accordingly using Thrift. All right, now let's take a look at the demo. All right, let's have a look at how my environment is set up. Um, in a command prompt, I'm gonna type ctm-b, and this will display the version of the automation API that I currently have installed on this machine. And I'm gonna do ctm emb show. And you can see I have two environments set. One uh, Windows environment, which will be my UAT environment, and a Linux environment, which will be my production system. You can also see right here in the back, this is my UAT environment, and these are all my centralized connection profiles that I currently have here. Now go to the next tab. This is the production system that, as you can see, there is no centralized connection profile defined. Okay. First, 
Let's have a look on how to create a new centralized connection profile using Control M Automation API. For this, you will need a JSON file with the full definition of the centralized connection profile. Now, you can build this from scratch or you can retrieve a connection profile that is already created, modify it, and save it as a template. For this example, I'm going to retrieve an existing centralized connection profile, modify it, and then deploy it into a different environment. OK, to get the centralized connection profile, we can use the following command. The CTM deploy connection profiles, centralized get, and the search stream, I'm looking for the file transfer type, and for the name, the CCP Linux one. As you can see, it's bringing all the file transfer uh, centralized connection profile that I have defined on my environment. So the command is not working as expected. It's not taking the search criteria, criteria that I specify. At the bottom of the output, we can see that it says name is not recognized as an internal or external command. So if we go back to the command, I can see where's the problem. We need to specify double quotes on the search criteria. So let's modify that and rerun the command. Perfect. Now we can see that only one centralized connection profile was retrieved, the one that I specify in the search criteria. Let's redirect this output to a JSON file to later modify it and use it as a template. Let's look at the centralized connection profile that we just exported. You can see all the information for that centralized connection profile that it has defined. You can either clean it up, um, save it as a template. But one thing to take into consideration is the password field. As you can see in the output, it's mask with asterisk. So we will need to specify a password on clear text or use secrets when deploying the profile. I have an example of a template I already created. And you can see that most of the field values are empty. Here, you can see that I have modified the centralized connection profile, exported, and added a clear text password. Let's deploy it to the new environment with the following command. CTM deploy, the name of the file, and the environment where you want to deploy it to. Excellent. The deployment status section shows that the deployment ended OK. Now, let's take a look on how to deploy the centralized connection profile, but this time using a secret as a password. Let me show you how to create the secret first. OK, let's go back to the command line. Let's run this command. CTM config secret get and the environment that I want to retrieve it from. OK, you can see I don't have any secrets defined on this environment. So I'm going to add the secret with the command CTM config secret add, the name of the secret, the password, and specifying the environment. As we can see, the secret was added successfully. And we can double check by running the command. Again, CTM config secrets get an environment. And you can see that the secret is listed there. OK, now that we have the JSON file ready to be imported and the secret has been created. The first thing as a best practice is test the connection profile prior to deploying it. So we have the following command. CTM deploy connection profile with the option test. Then we specify the JSON file of the connection profile, the control M server name, then the control M agent name, and the environment where we'll be deploying it. Oh, we got an error right here. It says the connection profile test failed on the control M agent because this control M agent does not have the file transfer plugin installed. So let's change the name of the control M agent on the command to one agent that have MFT installed and let's test it again. Okay, perfect. 
you can see right now that the test was successfully and it was validated on the control imaging that we specified. Now let's deploy the connection profile to the new environment with the following command ctm deploy, then the name of the JSON file, and the environment where we want to the centralized connection profile to be deployed. As you can see, the deployment status ended OK. And if you would like to validate the status of the deployment, this is just in case if you have you are, you are deploying multiple connection profiles at the same time, you can use this option. So we have the command ctm deploy connection profile centralized deployment status. And then you have to specify the type of uh, connection profile and the name of the file that you use for the deployment. As you can see, the deployment status is already synchronized with the control M server and is ready for to be used. We can also validate on the web client that the deployment of the centralized connection profile was successfully by checking that the profile is listed. For the next scenario, I'm going to show you how to convert local connection profiles to centralized connection profiles. On this first example, I'm going to convert this control M for databases local connection profile to centralized connection profile manually. Let's start exporting this local connect profile. To get the definition file, we use the following command ctm deploy connection profiles local get and the search criteria for the control and for databases profile in the JSON file. Okay, let's have a look at the definition exported and start modifying it by changing the password to clear text. Delete these two parameters, target agent and target CTM, which are not used on centralized connection profiles, and adding the centralized parameter with value true. I'm gonna proceed to save the file and deploy it with the command ctm deploy the name of the JSON file and the environment that I want to deploy the connection profile. Okay, now let's have a look at the web client to validate that the control M for databases centralized connection profile was added. Now for the second example, I'm going to convert these three MFT connection profiles using a deploy descriptor. This procedure can be used on different connection profile types, but the deploy descriptor might need to be adjusted depending on the profile type that you will be converting. To get the local connection profile definitions, we will use this command. CTM deploy connection profiles local get and the search criteria. To export them, we're going to rerun the same command, but redirect it to a file. OK, perfect. Let's have a look at the definition exported. We have a couple of SFTP connection profiles and an FTP connection profile, and they all seem to be using the same user. I have created the following deploy descriptor file. As you can see, it's removing the properties that are not used on the centralized connection profile. We're adding the centralized property with the value true, and we are signing the secret that we previously created as a password. Now, to deploy it, we're going to use the following command ctm deploy. The name of the file, the name of the deploy descriptor file, and the environment where we want to deploy this 
centralized connection profile. Okay, great. You can see that it was successfully deployed, the three connection profiles. And if we go to the web client, we can see that the converted CCP are now showing in our environment. Okay, now for the uh, last demo, we're going to show you how to delete centralized connection profiles. So we have here this centralized connection profile that we want to delete. It's called CCP bad PWD. To delete it, we're going to go to the command prompt and run the command CTM deploy connection profile, centralize, delete the type of the connection profile and the name of the connection profile you want to delete. Execute it. And we can see here that the connection profile was successfully deleted. And if we go back to the GUI, we can see that it's no longer there. Okay, with this, we conclude our demo. Here is a summary of what we discussed. We provided a brief overview of the centralized connection profiles, the Control M Automation API, and briefly discussed the architecture. We demonstrated how to create connection profiles, how to test it, how to export it, how to import it, how to delete it, and how to use a deploy descriptor to convert local connection profiles to centralized connection profiles. Here are some resources that might be helpful when working with ControlM Automation API and centralized connection profiles. Thank you for attending this presentation. We hope the information provided proved useful in helping you to further understand how to manage centralized connection profiles using the ControlM Automation API. We would like you to encourage uh, to provide your feedback on the webinar in the feedback tab. Please let us know what you thought about the presentation, any topics you might want to cover in the future, or any comments and suggestions you may have. Also, we will be sending you a survey in the following days, and I will appreciate it if you could take a few min minutes uh, of your time to complete and submit it. You may follow us on social media platform via Facebook and Twitter, and the past BMC webinar can be viewed on BMC Software Controlling Channel on YouTube. Today's webinar will be posted in a couple of days, and now we will proceed with the Q&A session.